I've been making color diaries since 2004 and I make the diaries to be able to see more specifically and to record my surroundings. This diary is from 2007 when I had a residency in New York and um, I was walking around the streets and just observing and trying to look with naked eyes and in order to do that I sat down several places and just recorded the colors. Like this one, this is um, color recordings of Brooklyn Bridge. Almost on a daily basis I passed the bridge and I remember one day I, I realized I don't see the bridge, I don't see the colors and the shape, I just see the idea of a bridge. So I sat down with my touche pen and my crayons and I, I started painting the colors. And here I was very specific, like noticing this color on, on the fence or what it was, and the next one and the next one. And I remember these two colors were like two layers. It had been this color and then it's, it had been painted this color on top of the more more uh, like purple colored gray. So I was like deep inside the color of Brooklyn Bridge. And it was very surprising in a way because I for the first time realized that Brooklyn Bridge was painted in dusty sort of uh, non-colored colors. And I realized I never saw that before. So recalling these colors made me see the bridge for the first time really. I think what col the color diaries have given me is a sort of awareness of how I depict my surroundings and how colors are so subjective and they change and you cannot remember a color and you cannot even exchange a color from one person to the other. So I've trained my, um, my eye for noticing small subtle uh, annoyances by actually trying to paint them and to collect them in my books. But I don't make the color diaries uh, to, to show others that I uh, notice the colors, I control the colors. I, I just make the diaries um, as a notation of um, how I see the world so that I can train my eyes to become a better designer and to be able to work more deliberately with colors in my work as a designer. It's important to understand that colors make, makes us feel something. And um, I think that every time you are just a little bit more aware of your surroundings, you also open up to a new dimension inside you as well as outside you. So, in a way, being more aware of your surroundings also makes you grow as a person. And for me, noticing the surroundings is highly influenced by observing the colors.